Hey friends! Today we're going to do a little bit of a measuring activity. Um, so for this activity, um, you're going to need a ruler. If you don't have a real ruler, like I don't have a real ruler, I have attached a paper ruler in our Google Classroom that you can print out. Um, for this, we're going to need a bunch of pennies. Okay, so I have like a little... Um, I think I have about 20 pennies. So if you can find just like a bunch of pennies, um, we're gonna use those to measure as well. I have a little form that I made. It says measuring your house. Here it says blank pennies, blank inches for each one. And then it has three spaces. I'm gonna show you three. You can do as many as you want. Um, and then you're gonna need, for this part of it, three things from around your house that you would like to measure. Um, I chose a spoon, a cup, and the book, the book that we read um, for our stories today. Okay, so what we're gonna do to get started, maybe I'll start with the spoon, and I'm gonna show you guys on here. Okay, so we're gonna measure our spoon two different ways. We're gonna measure it with standard measurement, which is the ruler, and non-standard measurement, which is the pennies. So the ruler helps to measure how many inches there are. The pennies, we're gonna measure how many pennies long it is. So we're gonna do length for all of these. So let's see, first I'm gonna start with the pennies. Actually, first, let me show you. I'm gonna draw a picture on my form right here of what it is that I'm measuring. So that's what the big blank space is. I'm gonna draw a spoon. And I think I'm gonna put an, a letter next to it to label it. Um, just one, I'm gonna think spoon. S -s -s. That's the letter S. I'm gonna put an S next to my spoon. If you wanna write out the whole word, you can absolutely do that. If you just wanna leave it as a um, picture, you can do that too. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. I'm going to take my spoon, and I'm going to see how many pennies long it is. So I'm going to line it up at the very end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Looks like maybe one more, 10. So I look to see how many pennies long my spoon is. And I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. How many pennies? 10. So I'm gonna take my form and write down my observation. 10 pennies, which is a one and a zero. All right, then I'm gonna take my ruler I'm going to line it up with the edge of my spoon. And each of these numbers here is one inch. Okay, so I'm going to look at the numbers and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then I'm going to take my, how many was that? Seven, right? So I'm going to take my form and I'm going to write the number seven. Okay. So I can see for my first, um, my first item, my spoon, it was 10 pennies long and seven inches long. Okay, next I'm gonna take a mug. This mug has my favorite fruit on it, strawberries. Um, so I'm gonna draw a picture first to show what I'm um, measuring. Okay, maybe I'll draw a little strawberry on there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna write a letter for this um, for this mug. M, M, the letter M for my mug. Okay, so now I'm ready to record my data once I have it. Okay, so first I'm gonna do the pennies and I'm gonna line them up just to like the edge of my mug. Maybe I can use my pen kind of straighten it out to make sure it's the right the right spot. Let's see. And this, you know, I could measure either 
this part of the mug or the whole mug with the handle. I think today I want to do the whole mug with the handle. So I'm going to keep going until, yeah, that looks about right to me to measure the whole thing. Okay, and then I'm going to count how many pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many pennies? Six pennies. So I'm going to take my data collection sheet and I'm going to write six pennies. Ooh, dropped a penny on the floor. <laughs> Hopefully I won't need it. All right, next I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to try to line it up. Remember, each of these numbers represents an inch. So I'm going to count and see how many inches wide is my mug. One, two, three, four. This mug is four inches long. So I'm going to write that on my data collection sheet. Four inches long. All right. The last one that I have is a book. And I chose to do the book that I read to you guys this morning. Um, and you could measure this either way, this way or this way. Today I'm choosing to do it this way. So first I'm going to draw on my data sheet, my data collection sheet. Um, I'm going to draw a picture of a book. And this um, cover has like a tree on it. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to write hmm, the word book starts with b b b so i'm going to write a b next to my book so that i'm ready to collect my data okay so first we're going to use pennies Let's see how many pennies long it is i'm going to just line them up with the edge of my book this one is easy because it's nice and straight and flat so i can actually like line the pennies up right next to the book and I know that they're um, in the right spot. Okay, that looks about right. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm gonna take out my data collection sheet and I'm gonna write the number eleven for pennies. So how um how do we write the word the number eleven? Do you guys remember? That's right, it's a one and a one. 11 pennies. Awesome. All right. Now I'm going to take out my ruler. I'm going to line it up to the edge of my book. Let's see. And then we're going to count the inches. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this book is about eight inches long. Okay. At the end, if you want to look at the things that you measured and see which one is the longest. So for the three things that I measured, do you remember which one was the longest? Hmm. The spoon was how many pennies? Ten. How many inches? Seven. The mug was how many pennies? Six. How many inches? Four. And the book was how many pennies? Eleven. And how many inches? Eight. Um, so which one was the longest? That's right, the book. Yeah, when you finish collecting data, um, you can look back and see what you notice about it, any patterns that you see or um, things that you learn. Thanks for measuring with me, friends. I'll see you next time.